Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Gertrude. The Lord has spoken with me today. Um, the Lord spoke with me today in this place at about 12 o'clock. He spoke with me about the meeting that is coming up. And in that conversation, the Lord has shown me the meeting and there's going to be historic healing and historic visitation that will take place in the meeting of the Lord in Akuru, the grand mega historic revival healing service that will take place at Kaptembo Grounds in Akuru. And uh, in that conversation, the Lord has shown me the massive healing that will take place uh, in Nakuru. And then he has also extended this today and also spoken with me about the conference that is coming up, the second international conference of pastors. And as I was there, then a crippled baby walks. So it seems there is going to be healing extended even into the conference. The conference that I see a lot of people moving, giving way, crowding, standing up from their seats and giving way when a crippled baby is walking. I don't know that this baby was healed from the meeting and appeared in the conference, but it seems to me that this baby is healed, is healed here. So that means there will be an extension of the anointing of the Lord's healing across from uh, the September grounds into um, into the pastors' conference, the second international conference of pastors. And so this is a wonderful display of God's love. The Lord is coming out to present his love to this nation. He is reaching out to the church. He is beckoning the church to himself. He's saying, look, my glory is here. My presence is here. My healing anointing is here. Your help is here. And it's at such a time when the church is dry out all over the world. They are caught up in deception, immorality, nudity, falsehood. They are caught up in all manner of the gospel of the world, prosperity, in pursuit of everything wild and sinful. But in this place, even as the nations begin to gather, in this place, in Kenya and Nakuru, those that will come all the way, the Lord is saying there will be sufficient and enormous latter anointing of the Holy Spirit. This is that glory that was spoken about of the latter days, the glory that will surpass human understanding, the glory that will bring things unspoken and things unseen into the church. So... I see a lot of cripples that are going to walk, very, very, very many cripples are going to walk, and a lot of blind that will see, and a lot of deaf that will hear, and a lot of mute that will speak very clearly. And for the deaf, when they are healed, I see them holding their ears, because it's too sensitive now. The ears become very sensitive. And I see a lot of lame people that will be healed, their legs will be stretched, those that were not stepping down will now step down. They will be corrected. I see a lot of bleeding diseases stop. A lot of tumors dissolve. A lot of cancers dry out. I see a lot of hip, broken hips healed. People brought in stretchers. Uh, they're brought on stretchers and they get up and walk. Or even those who are very sick from broken hip and broken back, they get up now. The, the spinal cord injuries, they are healed and they get up and walk. I see a lot of wheelchairs surrendered there and with crutches. I see bleeding diseases, top internal organs, the heart healed. I see all this side, the spleen, the kidneys, the liver, the heart, the, the intestine. And also women with bleeding diseases, people mentally ill. So the Lord is essentially saying that he has poured the blood of Jesus at the venue of the meeting in Nakuru, and anybody else that will partake of that meeting through the Nation TV, NTV, or through the World Wide Web, 
or through the radio will be a partaker also unto that healing. This is a blessed message. What a wonderful message before Christmas for people to hear that the Lord, their God, is visiting with them and he has promised such wonderful things. A basket of wonderful blessings, blessings of healing, restoration, revival, righteousness, and holiness. He's coming to put back a smile to the families whose children were crippled, families that were staring at doom, living a life with a crippled person lying on the mattress all through, being tended, but he's coming to lift them up. He will raise the cripples, and a lot of cripples will walk, even in the conference of pastors. Now, for those who have their spiritual ears open, those who are able to hearken unto the words of the Lord, this is what the Lord is saying. He's saying the latter glory is here, and these are the days of his glory, the days of his servant, the days of the Lord. These are the days of revival, and that in these days, it is always good to be prepared in righteousness and holiness for the glorious coming of the Messiah. When all these things happen like this, these are the signs that the latter outpour is here, and the glory is here, and the Messiah is coming for a holy church. Shalom.